use proof by exhaustion to show that for n is a natural number where n is less than or equal to 4, that n plus 1 all cubed is greater than 3 to the power of n. So proof by exhaustion means considering every possibility. So we want to consider every possibility given the constraints that are told to us in the question and then prove that this statement or inequality here is true. Okay, so let's look at that statement. Let's look at what we have over here. n is a natural number and n is less than or equal to 4. So natural numbers are positive integers. So natural numbers are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. We're also told that n is less than or equal to 4. So if n is a natural number, so a positive integer, and is less than or equal to 4, that means the numbers that we're considering here are 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're trying to show for numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 that this is true. And then we just individually put in those numbers into this statement or each side of this inequality and show it is true for all of those numbers. So I'll just draw a table out to demonstrate that. So n in one column, n plus 1 to the power of 3, so the left-hand side of the inequality in another column, and then 3 to the power of n in the final column. So we're putting in the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's look at the first column. So n plus 1, so these numbers plus 1, and then to the power of 3. So when n is 1, that's 2 to the power of 3. When n is 2, that would be 3 to the power of 3. 4 to the power of 3, 5 to the power of 3. And then we can do 3 to the power of n, so 3 to the power of all of these numbers. 3 to the power of 1 is 3, 3 to the power of 2, to the power of 3, and 4. And what we see here is for each individual n value, n plus 1 cubed is always bigger than 3 to the power of n. So basically, all of these numbers are bigger than these numbers for the respective n value. Therefore, for n is a natural number where it's less than or equal to 4, then this statement must be true. On to part 2. Given that m cubed plus 5 is odd, use proof by contradiction to show using algebra that m is even. So for proof by contradiction questions, the first thing that you want to do is to find out what your assumption is. And the assumption is the opposite of what we're trying to prove. More formally, it's called the negation. So the negation of what we're trying to prove, well, let's first look at what we're trying to prove. If m cubed plus 5 is odd, then m is even. So the opposite of this statement would be, the negation of this statement would be, if m cubed plus 5 is odd, then m is also odd. So that's our starting point. We're then going to mathematically disprove this, and if this is not true, then that means the original statement must be true. It's one or the other. If m cubed plus 5 is odd, you have two options. m is either even or m is odd. So if we disprove that m is odd, then that means that m must be even. And that's the basis for proof by contradiction. You disprove the opposite scenario, and therefore the original scenario must be true. Okay, so we can start by, if we know that m is odd, we can start by letting m to be equal to 2k plus 1, where k is an integer. So z, this is the symbol here for an integer. We can then put that into our statement. So put that into m cubed plus 5. So this will then be equal to 2k plus 1, all to the power of 3 plus 5. I would expand this out using the binomial expansion. I'd do it in my head. If you were to write out all of the steps for expanding out this using the binomial expansion, it would probably be longer than if you were to just write three separate pairs of brackets, each with 2k plus 1 within it, and then just multiplying it out that way. So if you can, after some practice, do binomial expansion in your head, then it's definitely quicker. So I'll just write out that process. So it would be, so you have 2k plus 1 to the power of 3. So the expansion, the binomial expansion, hopefully you remember this from year 1 maths, would be this. And it's useful to remember what the different rows in the Pascal's triangle are, at least the first few. So 
I know that for this row, where you have the threes, this first term would be one. The edges are always one. So those two are one. And then the middle two in this case would be three and three. Okay, and then we can see also that we have one to the power of zero to the power of one. So these, these terms here, the one to the power of something are just gonna be one. So we're just looking at the 2k cubed squared to the power of one to the power of zero, and then multiplying it by this Pascal triangle term in front. So the first one would be 8k to the power of three. Second term is three times 4k squared. Next term is three times 2k. Final term is one. And if I just put an equal sign here, so just continuing on from what we have here, I'll have to put the plus five at the end as well. So plus five here. So this is equal to what we have here, plus five. Rewriting that, 8k cubed plus 12k squared plus 6k plus six, which you can also write as, so take out a factor of two, this then becomes 4k cubed plus 6k squared plus 3k plus 3. So this here is 2 multiplied by an integer. Remember that in the beginning we defined k to be an integer, so what we have inside the brackets is an integer, and then 2 multiplied by that would be even. If we look back at our assumption, m cubed plus 5 is meant to be odd. But as we see, m cubed plus 5, which is what we started with, that ends up being an even number, and there is our contradiction. This contradicts the assumption that we have up here, and then we just have a short conclusion at the end. So if m cubed plus 5 is odd, therefore, or then, m must be even.